All right, so now we're going to begin the assembly of the uh, real gray double Quanta Shia Custom. And here are all the parts that represents the leg. Now, I began preparing the leg, putting on the little stickers here, which is detailed with the little um, um, information here. And it's necessary, unfortunately, because it needs to go under the clear part that you see here. I also put some uh, silver strip parts, uh, decals here, and one back here, which didn't think it would, you know, would bother anybody. Um, so we began with the leg, and the back heel, I had it assembled into two parts. It was all one part, but I removed it so I can put the bottom part of the heel here, like so. Then we have this part that goes here. Think. Just trying to get the orientation right. There we go. And we have the top part that slides down on top of it. There we go. So that takes care of that. Then you take this part, put it right on top of it. That completes the back part of the heel. You want to bend the leg a bit to that way so you can stick this part in. So it slides into place like so, like that. And then, take this little detailed charcoal part. It goes, there's a little clip there that goes into the notches here and here, like that. And then you take this part that goes right on top of it. Just find the spacing and then slide it down. If you, uh, of course. Easier said than done. So we have to bend it up a bit. There we go. There we go. And then finally, once it's all into place like so, the front part of the foot. Slide it in. Believe that went in fine. So that completes the foot. All right, and now we proceed with the leg. Um, this little part here, this disc goes on the inside of the leg. So that goes like that. Then we have this part that goes here in the back. This is one of the trim part colors that I did. Followed by this guy that closes the gap. the two little disc parts here and make sure that the the notch that you see here is facing this way down per what I remember seeing the instructions so that one goes there and that one goes there this part here you gotta be careful and follow the connection it goes right through a little notch in there See if I can show it to you. So it looks like that. And the reason it does that, let me get to the next page. Is this part back here goes into place like so. And this part goes like this. So it's seemly like that. See? Uh, the calf part of the armor, I had it together while I was painting it, so I'm going to remove it. And one goes back here. Whoops, the other way. I believe, yes. Come on. You gotta find the grooves. There we go. The other one goes right here. Okay. 
There we go. Now then, this part goes here, followed by the bottom part of the shin here. Got to be careful with this. There we go. Then we have the f the uh, shin guard there. Come on, get in there. There we go. And then the back um, calf armor, which. There we go. There we go. Alright. That completes the left right leg, and here is the left leg of the double O Quanta Shia custom. Nice, isn't it? Pretty good. I like it. Excellent. Alright. Let's now move on to the next part of the build. Alright, so the next part will be the torso and waist unit, since it's all together here. Uh, as I'm looking at this, we're going to need to take this little guy here, and then this part. Now this part needs to be prepared, because this one actually have to, it will hold the, um, sorry, the little yellow parts. And there's a little notch there, one goes in here, and the other one goes here. And just by looking at this, I'm, I'm looking at the manual, I'm dreading, I'm dreading what may happen. Because, so this part, then we have this part that's on the outside, so this will have to be on the inside. So we do that here. And that will go through a hole here. Like so. And then... The same thing with this one. Careful. There we go. There's a hole there. So that holds this part into place like so as well. But the top part is held on by this. So this will go here. And if I had if I ever get a chance to find this, the other one will go right there. So let's hope that stays in the place. Then we have these two little silver parts. Um, this one goes there. Oh, you know what? We almost forgot. We almost forgot. Yes. We need to put the little... Um, what do you call it? We need to put the sticker, which is number nine and A twenty something. So let me just get this out. I'm not sure about that. A twenty six. So I'll take that out here. I'll just scrape off a little bit of the excess. Yeah, not too much. But the more important one is this one right here. So number nine. Here, the one goes like that here, the other one goes there. 
I believe it goes there. Oh, that came off that yellow part. Hold on, I want to check this out. Alright. Come on. Get it. There we go. So there. And then we need to put this in here. There we go. If this thing comes out again, I want to make. May, I may have to end up putting glue. All right. So now we take this, stick that there, and where's the other one? Oh, there we go. There we go. The other one goes there. So it looks like that. Go back to the page I was on before. There we go. Continuing on. Oh. Ah, this thing is going to be coming off a lot. May, I may have to end up gluing it, but we'll just leave it there for now. Alright, so we have the yellow part that goes here. Goes like that. Then we have this v-fin like chest part that slides it through here like so followed by the chest part that goes oh yeah you know what somebody told me that I put this in reverse <laughs> I forgot about that alright no there we go oh you know what we almost forgot so let's take this off first if I can. No, I can't. You know what? Let's remove that. We have to do the waist. So, if that faces that, this goes here. Yes? No? Oh, it's the opposite direction. Alright. Alright, come on. Ah. What am I doing wrong? Okay, I know why. Because I'm doing the opposite direction. There we go. Because that part is exposed in the back. And then this one should be like that. Yes. No. I don't know. Hmm. Give me a second. All right. Took a little finagling here and there, and didn't realize that this was in reverse, so I had to rearrange it to the way it was. But now I finally got it right. So we have this little part here that goes into place right there, which if it ever gets in there, there we go. And then we have this part, which supposedly slides down into place like so. I had to remove that while I was doing all this, so we'll put that there. There we go. There we go. Now we're doing okay. I think. Back skirt armor. Oh, this one. Put it back. So back skirt armor goes there. Close it up. And then we have the two yellow parts here. One goes there. The other one goes here. Okay. Crotch armor. One goes there. I 
think. No, the other one goes. It's the other way around. Which one is? All right, there's a notch there. Um. Uh huh. Yeah. There we go. Took a while. Yeah, this is going to annoy the shit out of me. Damn it, why did you lose that part? Where the fuck is it? Alright, so the last parts would be this, which is for the uh, waist armor. Oh, uh, the, um, yeah, the side skirt armor, you could say. So one goes there. And the other goes there. Yeah, I'm sorry it took a little longer than normal. I thought this was gonna be a quick quick part to build. Whoops. But there we go. So minus that little part that goes here, this is what the torso and body and waist unit looks like of the double quanta. Shia custom. Alright, let's now move on to the next stage of the build.